won a tournament. 2016 Memphis beat Taylor Fritz in the final there, and we thought, all right, there's going to be many more to come. That was his 11th title, but the wait for 12, it would take some time. Look at all these finals he went to. Of course, some good competition there as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you look at some of the players he lost to, some big finals as well in Miami, also in Toronto, both to Djokovic. It's, it's more the losses to Dogopolov, to Anderson. Those are the kind of matches that you want to win. Those are the tournaments you want to win. Got to remember also, though, he was out for so long with that wrist injury. It's been quite a journey for Kay these last couple of years. Yeah, so now another final. And you saw that one against Daniil Medvedev. That was last year in Tokyo. So that one really hurt for Kay Nishikori in his home country. But in this match, he would come out strong and, and didn't have those bad thoughts about all the other finals. No, he had a slow start. Actually got down an early break, but then started taking control of the first set. Hitting the ball so early, so big, controlling points. He had a chance at three all to break serve. When he didn't convert, that was the first time all of a sudden Medvedev sunk his teeth into the match. Broke with that backhand down the line, wins the second set. But in the third set, again, Nishikori stuck up the pressure. He takes the ball so early, and Medvedev's forehand, I don't know. I would throw my racket after hitting a forehand like that as well, because it's just, it's a weakness that he has, but he gets away with it by being lanky and fast, and he can play defense, and his serve is pretty good, his first serve. Nishikori served for it at 5 1, was broken and then broke right back at Love to win a title finally. Three years. Three years in the making, 12th title. He's back inside the top 10. Good things to come for Kei Nishikori. Been to a Grand Slam final, still looking to get that first major, but wow, what a finisher. Best right now when it comes to the game of tennis in those third sets. He's a ahead of some fairly decent players as well. Joe back and Roborg, Laver, all the greats. And Kenny Ishikori somehow has a better record in final sets. Do you have any thought on why that is? I wonder, I mean, we were talking about it a little bit earlier. Sometimes he goes three sets with some of the lower ranked players and is able to get it back in the third. Um, it, it's such. It's been such a great last few months for Kay. And, and again, everything that he went through with his wrist, he chose not to have surgery and instead chose to rehab for about six to eight months, came back on the Challenger Tour. One thing I've always loved about Kay is there never seems to be any drama with Kay going on off the court or with his team. He's been so set with Dante and Michael Chang as well for years now. And so when things start to go wrong, nobody seemed to panic. And they all were there supporting Kay back from his injury. They all work together so well, so beautifully. And now he's on a real roll here. He wins now in Brisbane, now heads to Melbourne for a week of practice to really get ready and make his run at the Australian. And a chance to get into the top five here early yeah. in the year, in a sense, because he didn't play much early in the year last year and started with challengers. So he's he's on a little bit of a roll in the top ten, and I think we're going to see more of Kay. Yeah, you talk about top five. His career high, four in the world. He's been to a Grand Slam final before. And you mentioned last year, starting with two challengers, really working his way back into his game making three finals, not getting over that hump. But what does it mean to get over that hump and, and win a title, raise a trophy? It's huge. I mean, it, it, you're, you go through that period of self-doubt. Okay, I, am I going to win a title again? Why is this happening? You start almost playing games with yourself when, when a streak starts to happen that isn't going your way. Um, but for, for Kay, he's one of the biggest athletes coming out of Japan, right? He's so well-known. And he had zero ego about going back down to play on the challenger level, working his way back up. I think he really earned this victory today. I loved how aggressive he was as well. It's, he was almost forcing himself, I'm going to go after and I'm going to win this. I'm not going to hope that my opponent loses this match. The other thing that impresses me about Kay is he's a hero in Japan. And when he goes to Japan, he still plays well. He doesn't feel that extra yeah. pressure. He's able to compete. Even though he lost the final to Medvedev, he made the finals in Tokyo. So he's just a great competitor, great player, great human being, really. Yeah. Obviously, in Bradington as well. He's at IMG <laughs> Academy practicing. You could take a little credit for this, his player development. Exactly. You, you kind of got him over the hump. Well, no, that was before I became director of player development. <laughs> this and happened he, this morning. And well, yes. Yeah, so. Okay, yeah. I'll there take all the credit. Exactly. <laughs> all right, that was on the men's side. Kane Nishigori getting his 12th overall title. How